Hey Pink Bosses, Nina here. I'm trying something new as usual, you know me and technology. Instead of sending out a weekly newsletter via email that has all the text written, I'm actually gonna do a newsletter on my YouTube channel. Yay! It's just something that's gonna be a little bit different for me, but it's actually gonna be a lot easier for me to do it this way. So I wanna know your thoughts. Also for you on YouTube, I wanted to connect with my YouTube audience a little bit more, and I figured out this is a way to combine my Pink Boss Club Club and my YouTube followers um, or subscribers all in one. So, so you let me know how you like this format, if it's something that you want me to continue doing and or if it's something that eh, we can do without. And also below, please, please, please ask me questions and let me know what you want me to talk about in this weekly newsletter, um, if there's a particular day I should do it, things like that. So we'll see how this works. Um, I'm always open to feedback, so please leave me comments, all right? Here we go. So today we're going to talk about a few things. Instagram has some cool new features, right? I know you guys want to get some um, more exposure and visibility for your company. So I have a client who has a summit that is totally awesome. And I'm going to give you the information there so you can sign up. Um, I'm also going to show you how to create, not show you, I'm going to tell you about experience I had with my sister where um, I explained to her how she can create a business in a day. Yes, you create a business in a day, you get started today, she can take on new clients today. Another thing that happened this week was Facebook notified me, I'm sure you know they notified you too, but I'm just... I feel special. They notified me that um, on the ads you can now create videos. So there's a notification that says that you can create ads to promote your conversions on your website. There's another one that says new create ads to get people to watch your videos I'm all about video marketing thus the new format um, but here you can see that there you have a couple features and I love that they're doing updates in the app now it's a lot easier so if you're not using the Facebook um, ads application make sure you use that so you can monitor your ads especially now that they have Instagram ads so here is the news for this week let's start with Instagram Instagram now allows you to change your profile to a business profile. What does this mean? Business profiles are all about marketing. If you have a profile on Facebook or a business page, you know that you can use that mostly for advertising. And since Facebook actually owns Instagram, the advertising is actually a little, is kind of similar on Instagram. So in order to do this, you just need to change your account or switch your account to a business account. I do have a video. I'll leave the link to the video tutorial in the description below. Now, why would you want a business account instead of a personal account? Well, one, you're probably going to want both. Um, I, I'm going to combine mine. Um, you know I like to go against the grain a little bit, but let me just show you. Um, the benefits can be actually wrapped up right here. You'll see that there is an icon for analytics. There is also, I think you can see it, there you go. Now you'll see um, that there is a contact button. So for local businesses, this is awesome. You add your address, you add your phone number, you add your email, and people can contact you do directly, right? So that means from here, from your phone, if I press contact, um, it says call, get directions, all of that. The biggest part of this is it now also gives you, if you look, let me see, there's insights on each post see and there's also a promote button so you can actually do ads right in the app so you can create a post advertise um, using it and what I've seen so far it doesn't have the 20% um, restriction that Facebook ads has so if you do Facebook ads you know that you can only use 20% text I actually promoted something let me see I promoted a flyer that I had here you go this is obviously more than 20% text um, and it accepted it so the great part of that is that you have more room to actually promote so I also have a video on how to promote and do campaigns I'll leave that in the description below but this is huge you guys so now we can use Instagram a lot more a lot of people are more comfortable with Instagram um, and it gives us the ability to use hashtags to draw in clients and then now promote those posts um, so you can build a huge brand on Instagram so yay for Facebook slash Instagram um, if you do want to learn more about marketing your business on Instagram what you can do is if you are in the Hayward or Bay Area California 
area I am doing a workshop it's absolutely free I will leave the information in the description below of course it's called slay post repeat and it's basically a workshop for salon artists excuse me salons stylists makeup artists all of those people to actually learn how to market their business using social media specifically Instagram in this case okay let's move on to the next one I do have a client highlight this week uh, Sonia is one of my clients that I love I absolutely love um, Sonia she's over in London and she is doing the ultimate media summit and so in this summit she has 10 specialists and experts that's going to show you how to get media exposure so this is going from everywhere from writing a book doing video blogs there's a video is a vlog expert social media marketing um, how to use e-marketing how do you there's you name it she has somebody who is an expert in that so it's gonna be five days right and she has some little tricks and upper sleeve for, for teaching you some things but um, I will also leave the registration link for that below but go ahead and check her out but that's called the ultimate media summit or you can go to the ultimate media summit.com and that starts actually on Monday the 25th so don't miss that you guys I encourage you to go ahead and try because she has a lot of experience she's a radio host and also um, producer and also an author so you want to make sure and check her out next thing I have my trusty little list here next thing I have is the YouTube challenge so I know a lot of you guys are <laughs> you have a YouTube uh, channel and you have maybe a, a video maybe two or maybe Maybe you're scared to do a video um, I am starting a challenge on August 1st so if you go to socially nina.com slash YouTube channel super easy URL um, you can sign up for the 10-day challenge absolutely free but the point of this is there's more to having a YouTube channel than just posting a video every once in a while um, I know a lot of people use excuses I don't have the right equipment I don't know how to do graphics um, what am I supposed to put there how do I set up my channel sorry you guys my phones are going crazy right now um, how do I set up things how do I it, the list goes on and on and on but what I'm gonna do is lay it all out for you no more excuses and for those of you that are afraid to go live or afraid to record videos we're actually kind of starting in my group so if you're not part of the pink boss club go ahead and head over to our Facebook group what we're doing is we're doing live videos in there to kind of get people used to how to start a video how to do a tip and then how to close and do a call to action so um, I'm gonna teach you tons of tips it, you could sign up for that challenge for free again that's socially nina.com slash YouTube and a YouTube challenge and of course I'll leave that in the description um, the next one I wanted to um, talk to you about is my sister Jessica she just had her baby and one of the things like most mothers she doesn't want to go back to work and miss different things in our son's life but she wants to also provide assistance to the household so she has a husband and then herself and now a new child so she wants to make sure she's making income so we talked about it today and we talked about some of the skills that she has accounting and data entry and customer service and we basically started a business for her today so I did do go live in the group and talked about that a little bit but I wanted to actually share some tips for you guys so if you are starting a business um, and we'll use Jessica as an example she wants to get into fashion she loves fashion but right now she doesn't have a long list of fashion based um, experience that she has right now she wants to make money and I always say if you're starting a business you might want to get a side hustle for your side hustle so we're gonna brand her Jessica Hayes right Jessica Hayes biz is what she is right now so we're gonna brand her and we're gonna start her off with the skills that she has her customer service her data entry her account she has a long list of accounting um, history so she has things that she can create um, generate income for right now so we signed our up for Upwork we're creating a quick one-page site I did an absolutely quick logo and I'll I'll leave the video in the description on how you can do that um, reserved a website um, so we went to we created excuse me reserved her URL so we can create her one-page website and lead people through there we set up a Google Gmail account Google Voice account right so that means she can get email and communicate with her um, and have that separate from her personal email and communicate with her audience and her potential clients and we did the Google Voice so she can have a phone number dedicated to her business it's a free number that you can get and you can actually customize it 
and have the calls show up on your regular cell phone, right? So now she has a business number, she has an email, she has a URL, right? And then the last thing is you want to make sure you get paid. That's probably one of the first things that you set up. So we actually set up a PayPal. So we set up a PayPal account, but I went one step further and set up a pay me, PayPal me account. So you can go to PayPal dot me and then um, slash her business name so anytime she wants to collect money she doesn't have to create an invoice she doesn't have to have some fancy system right now she could just have she could send out her URL and tell them how much it is and people can pay her the reason I'm telling you this is because in less than a day we've come up with a service we actually created a online presence for her we created a way for people to pay her we uploaded a profile so she can start looking for work for her um, for her skill set that she has. And then we also created packages. You can purchase her time for one hour, for two hours, um, excuse me, one hour, few hours, whatever. So she has a couple different packages. We're also going to start finding ways to market her and did a logo, all of that. So all of those things only took us about an hour and a half to go through. It is really, really, really easy to start something when you already have a skill. Start with the skills that you have and we'll use that money to help build an audience for her or actually put into what she wants to do um, ultimately. So that means she can start today. She doesn't have to start tomorrow and months after she made a business plan and all of that. Do it. Just do it and then learn how to figure out your prices and you know your offerings and all of that as you go, but you have to start somewhere. So again, um, at, in order to build a business in a day, you only need a few things. You want to make sure you get paid. You want to make sure people can contact you. You want to make sure you have services and that you have some prices. You can start there. The logo, the website, all of that is additional information. So again, I'll put a list below in the description box about everything that we did. Links to how we did that. It was really, I think we spent under under sixty dollars to start everything and but really we could have done it for under ten I just you know did a couple extra things but for the most part you can start your business where you are with the things that you have with your own knowledge so don't be afraid to just jump in and do it okay so I think that's it for today if you guys like this format let me know again just to kind of recap Sign up for Sonia's um, Ultimate Media Summit that starts on Monday. Sign up for the YouTube challenge that starts August 1st. Make sure you switch over your Instagram to a business Instagram um, page or and then start promoting some of your products and things like that and use Instagram. If you are in the Bay Area and you um, are open on Wednesday, the 20, I want to say that's the 27th, come see us at the Shortcuts Barbershop where I'm doing a free open pop-up social media workshop on Instagram and how you can use Instagram for your business, okay? If you guys have questions, comments, leave them below. I want to know what you think. Um, yeah. All right. Peace.